and we're off. Yeah, so we're leaving Simoson. Uh, we're leaving Simoson building in the central business district in the capital city of Lusaka. Yeah, quite, quite the crowd you have here. It is. Every day dealing with these people, how is it? Well, you know, I've been here for 33 years, so um, I'm used to it. It's, this is like my second home. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, SML. Mm -hmm. Simon Mwerle. Simon which is, Mwerle. Which is the road we're on. Instead. Oh, this is Simon. Yeah, because I'm know, assuming this is Simon Mwerle Market. Yes, that's Simon Mwerle Market there. Okay, cool. So, but Simon is not your name. No. People think that's my name. My name is Chitambala. Simon Mwerle was my father's name. Okay. Yeah, and this road was named after him. So I opened a Facebook page. This was way before I... I realized that you know Facebook was gonna was gonna do what it does. I just opened a, a page in honor of my father, and I, I had no idea that it was it was gonna be what it is. And uh, here we are. There's a bit of commotion there. <laughs> Some guy probably stole something. <laughs> That's the life we live over here on Simon Moylan. Some guy probably stole something, so he's been apprehended. Yeah. So how did your whole social media start? Like, what 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 brought you to Facebook? Well, the idea uh, came from, I don't know if you're familiar with the Beatles. Yeah. Yeah. The Beatles did a, an album, a very famous album years ago. And they took the cover shot of the album was of the Beatles crossing the street called um, Abbey Road. It's a very famous road in England, in London, the city of London called Abbey Road. And, um, you know, because they made that famous, and, and after the, the street was named after my father, I figured, you know, let, let, me, let me create a Facebook page in honor of my dad. But it, the original intent of the page was to show life in and around Simoson building. That yeah. was the original. But then it evolved when we were hit and struck uh, by cholera. When the cholera epidemic hit, the CBD was shut down completely. And I was the only one, not even ZNBC used to come here. Yeah. I was the only one walking through with a camera, shooting live videos. And then I, then I noticed an uptick. I thought, well, you know, 5,000 people? And in those days, it was 5,000 people in those days was like, how do, where, do, where do I get 5,000 people? And, and why would 5,000 people be watching me? Yeah. You know, yeah. So that's how it started. And then, and then after that, I went into the words. I noticed there's a huge deficit in the way we as Zambians speak English. And so I, I started teaching these, these words and, and I noticed that people like that. So I, I, I started doing that. And then after that, I started doing live videos, walking through the markets, which was very new because, you know, people here are very apprehensive and they're very suspicious. They wonder, well, why are you recording me? Yeah. But, you know, over time, now they're used to it. In fact, now they, they, they expect me. They, they anticipate that I'm going to come through now. But in the beginning, it was very difficult. Okay. Very, very difficult, yeah. So now how did that move from, because now you, at some point, you just became controversial. Thank mm. you. Some controversial things that you've posted. Mm. Where does that come from? Do you feel like you have to speak about everything or you have to voice your comment on everything? No, not everything, only the things that I have an opinion on and only things that matter to me. Okay. You know, and, and, and unfortunately, people have this idea that vloggers you know, talk about everything. We don't talk about everything. We only talk about the things that matter to us and things that we are interested in. For instance, I'm not a politician. Okay. I'm not an economist. So I'm not going to go on my Facebook page and start talking about the eight economic points of whatever. Because yeah. that's not my forte. That's yeah. not my strong suit. There are people that are proficient in that. There are people that are good at that. I'm not one of those. So I only speak about things that matter to me and things that I have a strong opinion on. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. And, 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 and so how do you respond to critics? Because for the most part, you're known as this gentleman. He's going to block you. Yeah. When someone comments something that doesn't seem to sit well with you, before you even block them yourself, people are speaking on your behalf like, dude, you're gone. <laughs> like, he's coming. He's coming for you. I think he's offline. He's coming for you. Yeah. You know, um, let me tell you where that came from. I was listening. I wasn't always that way. 
There was one time I was listening to a, a motivational speaker by the name of Mel Robbins. Ever heard of Mel Robbins? She's yeah. A, she's a female motivational speaker. I saw a clip of hers. She said, as vloggers, you, the way people treat you on your page, they treat you that way because you allow them to treat you that way. When you as a vlogger set the tone, if you have an open sort of floodgate policy, say anything you want to me, insult me, do, you're, 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 you're training your audience to talk to you in a certain way. Equally, you can train your audience to set boundaries. They must know that, oh, well, he doesn't like this. So, so we won't go beyond that point. And there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing I, I sort of, I'm against, I don't like insults. Now, I know we live in a world that is not perfect. You know, people will say, well, you know, you can't control everybody. And that's true. And, and I can't block everyone. But I can block the ones I do see. Okay. If there are 10 uh, nasty comments and insulting comments and I don't like the one, I will block the one and get rid of the one. I can't, I can't comb through every comment. I just deal with the ones that I do see. It's just a personal policy of mine. Okay, yeah. that's, uh, that's something. And then also, tell me about, about, about some altercation. I know you had some altercation um, with some, some gentlemen at Katungu. That, and that's very recent. It's not yeah. something old. The it's Katungu complex. Yeah, some guy broke your phone. Yeah. What was that about? Well, well let, me, let me give you a backstory to that. Uh, I was on ZNBC, your place. Yeah. Uh, I was a guest on The Morning Live, and there was this really uh, interesting chef. His name is Twitwe. Yeah. He does these burgers, you know. And we were on the show together. And after the show, he says to me, you know, you should come down to my place and promote my, my, my eating place. I said, yeah. yeah, sure, I'll do that. So I went down to Katungu Complex, which is in the Lebala area. And I had never been there before, you know. I hadn't even heard of it. I've never heard of it. So when I got there, I knew, you know, as is my custom, I, I know how I shoot videos. You know, I, I sort of first of all show the area. Yeah. And I tell, give the people a brief background of the place. And then go into the restaurant. But before I did any of that, I first of all asked, you know, who's the guy in charge here? Who's the Don? Yeah. You know, and then, you know, you know, every community has the one. <laughs> yeah. So they pointed me to, to this guy. His name was Machiavelli. So he arranged for me to move with some guy. Yeah. It was only when I got permission that I started filming. And if you watch the video, all I'm doing is, first of all, giving a brief background of the place. And then we, we finally got to this place where this guy was brying some sausages. Yeah. I bought some. I bought some for the guys that I was with. And, and this guy, my tour, my tour guide, was actually saying, people here at Katungu are decent people. They, you know, we respect people. In mid-sentence, just some guy named Raymond came and I wasn't even filming him. He just came from, he blindsided me and just grabbed my phone and then started punching me in the chest and saying, you're infringing on my rights. You know, you can't do this, you can't record. And I, so I say to him, I say, but I'm not, even, I'm not even recording you. He says, no, you can't record. And then he throws my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, I might add, which is a very <laughs> expensive piece of equipment. Yeah. He throws it to the ground and he breaks it. And he walks off. As soon as that happens, immediately I, you know, I go to the police and I report the matter to the police. And uh, so right now it's in, the, in the, it's in the cops' hands. And I know the cops will do, they'll do what, what they're supposed to do. Because the key is if you don't take them to task, if you don't make sure that the law takes its course, they'll just take advantage of you and they'll think it's okay. You know? And people have this uh, notion that no, forgive, muntuobe, that's nonsense. When someone breaks the law like that, when someone assaults you, they should pay for that. It's got nothing to do with forgiveness. Okay. Has there been anything you've ever posted that you regretted? Like, I should not have posted that. I should not have said that. Is yeah. there anything? Yeah, there are a couple of things I, I did. Uh, initially, um, well, <laughs> well, well, and this is the truth. Uh, I, there was one time I was having a, a, 
a, a difference with uh, with this the Chilo Fiatayali. And I said on one of my posts, I said, you know, I, I don't think that that type of marriage would last two years because of the way he carries on. When I posted that, I felt bad because I thought, you know what, you're, you're, you're wishing that you're you're wishing that someone's marriage ends. But I posted that because I could see from his profile that that is his trajectory, you know. But of course, in the recent past, I've, I feel I've been vindicated, so. But at the time I posted it, I did feel bad. So, because I know he, he posted that he cheated and whatnot, whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, did you kind of feel like I saw this coming? Absolutely. Because it's the handwriting on the wall. You know? I mean, look, there's no such thing as a, as a perfect marriage. Yeah. But when you live every nook and cranny of your marriage, if you post that on Facebook, I mean, those are cracks. You know, there, there, there's no such thing as every detail of your pixelated life is put on on Facebook, especially you know that type of uh, union. I saw the I saw the train wreck way before it happened. Okay. Yeah. W where does your beef with Dali come from? He posted some horrible things about me. Uh, some time ago, some really things that I can't even repeat, and that's the reason I took him to court. But the main reason I I, I sued him was because the because of the way it made my wife react. My wife was very disturbed. I mean, she cried. She she was very disturbed. And you know, when you when you see your wife, your partner respond like that, you know, there's a, there's a, a a righteous indignation that rises within you, and you just want to get this guy. Yeah, so it was it was when I saw my wife respond the way she did. And so, how did the, how did the tally kiss end? It hasn't ended. COVID disturbed it. We were supposed to go to court, but then COVID stepped in. So right now it's in, it's in court. Some people may think it's a long time ago. Forgive him. No. Uh, let it go. I'm sure he's reflected on it. You've reflected on it. Uh, just you know, call it quits. No, unfortunately, on Facebook in the digit in the digital world. Everything we put on Facebook, on the internet, lives forever. It never goes away. So when, you, when you're when you making plans to mitigate it, you have to mitigate all the way. You can't just leave it mid-stride. Because I've got kids, I've got children, and in the future, it might come up. So what, 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 what do your family make of your, of your social media, your wife especially? What does she, what does she think? Is she in support? In the beginning, it was very tough for her because you know she she would say i don't want my husband to be insulted because if they can insult you they'll insult me and they'll insult the kids but then over time she's come to realize that this is just a part of our lives what i do try to do though and this is something that she told me from the very beginning is that try and keep us out of your vlogging every once in a while you can post us if you want to but blur us so if you noticed in the recent past Anytime I post anything about my family, I'll, I'll be in focus, but my kids and my wife will be blurred. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and it's fine that way. So they support it. They just don't like the fact that, um, I mean, they just don't want me to, to, to include them in my footage consistently. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever had a bad experience with any of the, because I'm sure now that you, you know, you do this, you are in constant contact with some other celebrities or public figures locally. Have you ever had a feud with anyone apart from Tayali? Mm, no, I wouldn't say that. No. So it's just Tayali who gets to you? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> okay, I want us to play a game like I said. Okay. Uh, I, I, hope it's, I hope it's not like one of these games that measure your intelligence because I'm not really that smart. No, 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 no. This one, this one measures how good you are with, with, with lip reading. So I'll give you this headset, right. you wear the headset, uh, I'll play loud music, okay, and then I'll say a word, I want you to decipher what the word I'm saying is. Okay. Good. Sure, I got that. Okay, so don't you tell me if it's playing or not. Alright. It's playing. It's playing. Okay. Kawata Market. Say it again. Kawata Market. Kamwata. Kamwata. Yeah. What is it? Kamwata? Uh, Say it again. 
Kawata Market. Kawata Parish. Let's do this, okay? Okay. Kawata Market. Bali. No. <laughs> no, market. Sorry, I'm in the beat. <laughs> this is good. Ah, Who's this? That's a chameleon. Eh? Sorry. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, market. Pakaneni. No. Market. Kabwata market. Kabwata Pakaneni. No. Kabwata market. Kabwata Machiavelli. No. What's Kabwata Machiavelli? Kabwata market. No, I can't. Okay. What were you saying? What were you saying? I was saying Kawata Market. Oh, I thought it was Kawata. What's Kawata Machiavelli? I don't know. That's what it, that's what it looked like you were saying, Machiavelli. Okay, okay. Now, now let me try. So now, okay. Me, yeah. So right. now let, let's switch. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not as good as you are. Okay. You got Kawata, right? Okay. Yeah. So uh, when I did this and say, I, I meant the first word is okay. Right. Yeah. No, I got that. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So I play now? Yeah. Mouth. Michael Jackson. Mouse trap. <laughs> no. Michael Jackson. My Jackson. Track. <laughs> no. My. Is my correct? No. Michael. Michael. Mine. No. Michael. Michael Jackson. M is it my something? Yeah, my something, yeah. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. My son. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, I got the my, the my yeah, correct. Okay, you got okay. the first part. Let's correct. do one last one each. One last one? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is this is a hot beat. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Levy Junction. Levy Junction. Clifford Charger. No. Levy Junction. Again? Levy Junction. Clifford Change. No, no, no. no. Levy Junction. Who was that? Levy Junction. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, I, I was listening. I, was, I heard something else. Oh, wow. But, That's a good game. That's yeah, funny. but. It's hard. Yeah. Like you don't know whether what I'm saying sounds stupid yeah. or yeah. yeah. So um, I've noticed that you started like like playing pranks these days. Mm. Um, I, the, the I got those from Steve Harvey. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so far, I've done. I've seen two. I've done three. I've seen. I, I saw the Tali one. I saw yeah. the uh, Motali Mwanza one. And the mayor. Did and you the see mayor. the mayor one? No, I haven't seen the mayor yeah, one. Yeah, the mayor one was funny. But the best one was Tayali's. His okay. because I blindsided him so bad. He had no idea. And, and oh man, I tell you, I what was your plan to embarrass him? No, no, just it was a prank. It was just to you know have fun with him, you know. And uh, and oh man, I had so much fun with that one. I laughed for <laughs> days. <laughs> so, but, but, so you and Tali never have like light conversations. Never. We just talk. talk. No. The only light conversation we had was when his daughter was born. Yeah, yeah. When she was born, I called him and I said, you know, congratulations. And, praying for the baby. Is the baby okay? I asked him, I said, is the baby okay? He said, yeah, she's fine. And, uh, and that was it. But then okay. as soon as I put the phone down, we, we pulled out the daggers. <laughs> <laughs> so so do, do you feel like you, you like attention? Like, no. do you feel like you want people to be talking about SML all the time? No, absolutely not. In fact, if anything, that's the last thing I want. I just want to be able to do what I do. That's it. You know, and people label you as a, an attention seeker and people would rather you sit in the corner, in a dark corner and not say anything. I'm not designed that way. I have an opinion about things. And when I do have an opinion about things, I air those opinions. They may not coincide with yours, but they're my opinions. But the one thing I do uh, do is I do not use abrasive language. I don't insult people. I don't, I don't use... Because, you know, this language these kids use now, you know, it's, it's really disheartening, you know. I don't do that. I just air my opinion and leave it at that. When I get upset at people, the one thing I do do on Facebook, though, is I clap back. I never used to. You know, when someone says something nasty, I'll just block them. But now, 
I first of all do an exchange with them and then block them. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do, you, do you read all the comments you get? Not all of them, no. I, I read some of them, not all of them. I get a sample of what people are saying. Okay. This is what I do. I don't know if you do this. When I post something, I get rid of the first 10 insults. It, get it, rid of us and delete. Yeah, I, I block. As long as you're insulting, I block. The first 10. No, I don't block opinions or divergent views. If your view is different from mine and you express it clearly and eloquently, uh, uh, void of insults, yeah. you get to stay. But if you right out of the gate, I'm going to mock on to cancel. Hey, 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 honey, I will put a line through your name instead of under it. I will put a bullet through that comment. And then I won't even know you existed. That's the thing about Facebook. Once you blog, you don't even know who they are. But this is the thing that I find interesting. I don't know if, you, if you've been through this. You block someone, and then they, they, they sort of slide into your DM, and they start begging. For forgiveness. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, and then you don't even know what they said. You don't remember <laughs> what they said. I'm like, who are you? You know, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Amuel, I shouldn't have said. I said, but, well, who are you, and what did you say? But my, my policy is once I do block, I never unblock. I have more than 5,000 people that I've blocked. 5,000 people? 5,000 people. And I don't unblock. It's just a policy of mine. Okay. Yeah. So, a uh, couple of songs that you like. I want us to get into those. Okay. Um, first of all, tell me the story with the, with the Danny one. I want to start with the Danny one. Um, you're, you're a big Danny fan? Huge. My wife and I, are, we love Danny. We used to go to his concerts back when he, he still does concerts now, but there was a time he would, you know, he, was do, he would do concerts in rapid form, you know, and we used to go to, to his concerts. I want you to sing along. Wow. Jelela baby wandi Ash baby tusha We la li la kumune filamba Nasumila na li lufyanya Jelela baby wandi Tefyonava nobe wadi shiva Tefyonava nobe wadi shiva Tefyonava nobe wadi shiva Shishi ve chankolele Umumwa benda yenda Eva tu kile, Eva tu kile. Ati Dani, yobela you are mine. Uzabela chizuna. That's a controversial line. Naine chila njonga na chepira leke roku tonjonga nya. Amara yonse ya ya mwe tolo shi baby nati njele la. My wife is gonna kill me when she watches this. I'm dead, I'm finished. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. The children. And never stay for the children. It has to be love, not for the kids. Let it be love. Ekali aka fes Ekali aka Love of the wake up wake Shaka wake shepo and I don't know what came over me Exactly <laughs> and, 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 and do you feel like, like, like You are an older person mm. Do you ever feel like there's a justification For cheating well, Can you ever justify no, I cheated because No there's no justification I mean granted there's no such thing as a perfect marriage okay. But there is no justification You know and, and anytime you look for excuses Then you're on the wrong track Plastic. What does it take for you to delete a post? What does it take for you to just go back and say, you know what, I think I made a mistake. I should not have to say. What does it take for you to delete? Um, when, my, when my inner spirit says, you know what, this wasn't right. I, I, I don't focus too much on what people say, but if my spirit tells me. Because, you know, sometimes when you post, when you're writing stuff, when you're in that frame, you're thinking, this is good. Yeah. 
the moment it goes out there and then you reflect you think wait a minute was this worth it no 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 so when my spirit says i don't base it upon people's comments because people will talk regardless yeah it doesn't matter what you put out they will they will speak when you say something they will speak when you don't say anything so just speak your truth and, and just let it out there but then if your inner spirit tells you this is wrong then follow your inner spirit okay and now and how often does the inner spirit tell you to delete very few i can count it on two fingers <laughs> but, but there's some people who think that you're stubborn like Mamuewa is just stubborn yeah well, others will start saying guys delete the other thing forget he will not delete or apologize, apo like those, yeah, I, I can't remember exactly what you did, but they're calling for apologize, yeah. the apology never came. Yeah, it never came because, you see, uh, the, the, the rule is never apologize if you don't feel compelled to apologize. In other words, if your spirit doesn't tell you to apologize, never do it. Let me tell you why. If you apologize, when you apologize because of public pressure yeah. or public opinion, the public sees it. They okay. detect it. If it's not coming from here, from your spirit, immediately you apologize. He's not even sincere. That's what they say. So you only do it when it's really coming from your inner soul. And then there's this notion that, you know, you are too old. Yeah, at your age. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. Yeah, Facebook is for everybody. Facebook has over 5 billion people on it. I can guarantee you, Suolanji. A vast majority of those five billion people are people my age. <laughs> Don't even go far. My wife was showing me a video of this. Um, there's this old man from 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 Nigeria. Mm. I think his son or something is a big brother, something like that. Mm. So he he does vlogging almost every time because he he does like Instagram live. You know, mm. Instagram we, we can go live and interview mm. someone and mm. and he does that. But in Zambia, I feel like it comes from a point of hate. Yeah. Or envy or whatnot. Yeah, they just they just say that you know you're too old. Well, they can say that. We're we're having fun and making money, and we're getting paid by companies that use our page, which is the way it should be. Yeah. You know, Facebook should you should be used as a as a revenue making stream. And it's I, I feel like for most people it's 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 working. Yeah, it is. Um, and and others are catching on, but most of them are catching on late. Yeah. And I feel like now people are beginning to align because there's some people who are just known for they've got a huge following, but the the source of their following comes from a negative yeah. perspective. Yeah. Either they're known to be vulgar or they're not they're known to be to dress a certain way because they want to get followers and and brands like, don't yeah, want to be exactly with yeah. That. Well, if you're like, ah, that, uh, let's say, I don't know, maybe that bank or that uh, big company is supporting Vaupuba. Hey, hey, hey. And then now the, the, the people are distracted from the message mm -hmm. and they're focusing on, no, why are they yeah. using that one? Because I know that your friend, uh, okay, he's not your friend, yeah. but yeah, he he was used for some ads. I, 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 I saw it. Yeah. The comments were nothing about the product. Yeah. Ah, why this right. guy? Why? Ah, I've stopped. Yeah. Uh, uh. But can I tell you, if, if he was serious, do you know how he can make money? How can he make money? And, and I'm telling you, if he did this, he'd be laughing all the way to the bank. If he goes to these companies that sell suits, they, they, they sell suits, Yeah. he'd be a perfect suit model. If he just marketed suits, different suits, shirts, ties. Why haven't you called him to give him that idea? Oh, no, well, he, he's going to figure it out on his own. <laughs> you know, and, and not only that, I've said that publicly. I've said if there's one person who can make money purely from suits, is that guy. But let me tell you, I lost a really big deal uh, a few weeks ago. Um, a big corporation, you know, foreign corporation wanted to work with me. And uh, they had to vet me first. Okay. So, you know, they vetted me. After two weeks, they called me back. And they said to me, Mr. Mwewa, we like you, but we don't like this thing that you have with this guy. This fighting that you do with this guy online. So right now we're going to decline because we don't want our brand associated with online squabbles. <laughs> but after that, did you feel the need to go and make peace with that guy? So no, that can... no, no. That's not the point. The, 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 the point is not to make peace with him 
you know, he's, here's the thing, Sulanji. He has his life. I have mine. Okay. He's got his own set of values. I have my own set of values. We're not friends. We're not homies. We don't hang out. You know, we're, we're cut from two different cloths, you know, so I don't feel the need to hang out with him. The only thing we share in common is that we're on Facebook. Period. That's, that's something. Yeah. And, and, and the, the other thing I'd like to find out is, what is the one value that you really cherish, that you just tell yourself, I can never compromise here, I can never compromise on this? Respect for elders. That's respect that, that you respecting elders or yeah, others respecting you as no, an elder? No, me respecting elders. Because I, that, was drum, that was drilled into us as kids. My father, oh my goodness, he drilled that into us. And, I, and I've, we've passed it on to our children. My kids? Oh, man. Swalanji, my kids are such awesome children. And I'm not just saying that. They're really good kids, you know, because we gave them what our parents gave us. Yeah. 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 But what do you think the, the kids of today are lacking? Guidance. They, they have no moral compass. Our kids are just, they have no father figures. There are no father figures in our homes. A mother figure is important, vital. But that father figure, you remove a father figure from the equation. Of course, I'm not saying that the person is incomplete or cannot be whole without a father. Yeah. A person can. But when you remove the father figure from the equation, that child is less than. You know, and what I see with a lot of kids is they don't have father figures. They don't. Do you feel the need to be their father figure? No, because I'm not their father. No, like I'm only father, father to, to my children. You know? Of course, that sounds harsh in the African context. but Yeah, because I know we come from a, you know, children are raised by the village. Right, you know, that kind right. Of thing. Yeah. But no, you don't I, feel the need. No, I don't feel the need to be everybody's father because I'm not everybody's father. I'm just the father to my kids. And, you know, my nephews and nieces and, you know. Wow. But I'm not a Facebook dad <laughs> or anything like that. <laughs> so, the, the majority of people who reach out to you privately, when they inbox you, they text you, what are they saying? What do they want? They need help. A lot of people ask for help, you know. I need help for my school fees. I need help for this. And the, here, here's the thing. You know, you cannot give money endlessly to people. Because first of all, Solange, I don't have a bottomless pit. I work at Simoson. I get a salary at Simoson, Solange. I don't walk in there and then just go to the bank and say, na tapula moshi, na 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 foko na foko tola pofi, na you know foko tola, just that's all. Yeah. To grab. Don't even count. Yeah. Eku foko tola. I don't do that. Nobody does that here. My siblings and I, we work, and we get paid. A salary so you know when I do help people it's out of what I'm able to do it's not because you know I'm some kind of millionaire which I'm not I'm not a millionaire I'm just a guy some people say you I don't know got lucky you inherited what and what uh, so you I don't know you, you didn't work for what you have and whatnot um, what, what, what do you make of that what is your response I think to, it's, to it's, it's 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 unfortunate that people say that because here's the thing my father died 13 years ago. There are lots of families I know, once the, the patriarch dies, immediately they just want to sell off the assets. My sisters and brothers and I, we, we didn't do that. We maintain what our father left and we have a plan to grow it. You know, So for someone to say, you just inherited, it's being disingenuous. You know, Because once you inherit, very easily it can dis disappear. Yeah. Yeah. But we have tried to maintain it. Yeah. And and we are doing it. Yeah. Okay. And we work for what we do. No, Mr. Moyo, thank you very much. So Lange, thank you, brother. Okay. And, and and keep doing what you're doing. We'll love it. You know, it's fantastic. Thanks. Wish you the best. <laughs> Cheers. Okay.